Hi, my name is Ida Fonkwe and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at Emory University. I'm very passionate about chronic stress disorder, particularly the link with hypertension and cardiovascular disease. In our latest paper published in Brain Behavior and Humanity in Immunity in January 2020, we showed that in individuals with post-traumatic stress disorder, those with a more severe symptomatology have an impaired baroflex sensitivity and high inflammation. Uh, we measured inflammation or inflammatory biomarkers using immunohistochemistry and we were able to measure about 13 inflammatory biomarkers and find a combined inflammatory score for each participant. We also measure baroflex sensitivity using a gold standard called Modified Oxford Technique where we're able to pharmacologically manipulate blood pressure to uh, uh, force the baroreceptors to respond. We also use micronography, which is the gold standard measure for sympathetic activity in humans to date. Uh, we do so by inserting a tungsten electrode in the postganglionic sympathetic nerve to measure that sympathetic activity. So from this study, we're able to conclude that in individuals with severe PTSD, not only is there an impaired uh, sensitivity of the baroreceptor, but also there's high inflammation we also find a higher resting heart rate. And interestingly, at the onset of an acute stress, we had a higher withdrawal of the parasympathetic activity in this individual. These are all risk factors for cardiovascular disease and is all found in the same group. Putting this individual with a severe symptomatology at a higher risk of developing hypertension and cardiovascular disease in life. So it's very important that future study can focus on uh, attenuating or reducing that risk.